morning everybody this is margarita with tailspin farms um i wanted to share with you what i'm how i do my bottles i know i've done it before where i use the fresh milk and stuff but i had three freezers full of frozen milk and all of my little babies bottle babies this year have already gone through all of that so we had to start buying the powdered milk and boy is that expensive so i gotta get some more today they only have a small bag and it's like 20 bucks for this small bag it's a four pound bag usually i get a bigger bag and um that will last me a little while right now i'm only feeding four babies one has decided he likes feed much better than the bottle, which I'm not complaining because he's, what, two and a half months old now. So that's a good thing. And I still have three babies that they're not even a month old yet. Well, they're getting close, so I still have a little ways to go. So what I usually do, and I'm going to show you, is they usually have a little scoop in here but in one of the other bags they had a cup and I make mine a little stronger it just seems like it fills up the babies better and I use a water bottle because it works perfect and I dump two of these cups in my little funnel and then you learn the little tricks of all this I use a nice pick to make it fall in. I know it sounds funny, but that's part of it. And get it going here. Sorry it's taken so long. And each baby are eating about two baby bottles, which I use regular baby bottles, and I'll show you here in just a second. Almost got it all in the bottle. And this is probably going to be noisy because I have to get my water hot. Um, this is the baby bottles I use. So each one of them are eating two of these twice a day. So, I'll get my water hot and I'll fill all these up and take them out. And then um, I have a helper today. So, we're going to show you how we feed our little babies. They're like little piranhas when it comes to time to eat. They're all over you ready for that bottle. But, um, my water's almost hot. And I just put it in, fill up my bottle, well, halfway, and then I shake it really well. So the powder will dissolve in it and uh, everything. So it's getting pretty warm now. And here we go. Sometimes it just seems easier to make the powder, but because if not, I would have to fill up a pan of water and I heat my bottles that way when I have the regular milk. But this way sometimes it's just quicker to fill up the bottles and the way we go. And I fill this bottle full of the hot water. And I put a thermometer in it and tested it and it is at the right temperature for the babies um, through the hot water. So that makes it nice. And then I just fill the bottles and go. I have a little ice chest that I get my vaccines in. I'll show you. And this works perfect. It'll hold um, eight bottles, no, six bottles. And um, so I use two of these when I go out to pee. Put all my bottles in there and they stay nice and warm in case there's something else that I have to do before I get to them. So, then I just fill my bottles up. And I put them. And 
that's it. Just fill them up. Put the nipples on them. And I use the longer nipple. It's for the human ones. It's three plus months. They're longer. And I've used these for, gosh, what have I been doing goats now? Six years, maybe? And I just like them better than the ones you put on the Dr. Pepper bottle. These just work for me personally better. I know other people like the other ones, so it's your preference of what you like. Okay, I'll bring you back here shortly showing you us feeding the babies. So, um, here we're going to go into the pen and get the babies all set up to have their bottle. They are all over mom and I today, and um, they're like little piranhas, and their little teeth are sharp too. So, here they are. They're getting ready. I'm going to show you how... I get the bottles. This is normally how I do it by myself. I get two of them started on one hand and the third one started. And then when little girl is up, she usually eats. I usually have all four of them at one time feeding them. And they're just so much fun. But luckily today I have mom helping me. And it just makes life so much easier when we're um, feeding and everything so um, just think I got a couple of more months of them having bottles and stuff and we have a creek feeder set up where they can eat 24-7 and so the babies go in and out of that, and that has really helped this year with everything. And um, they're they seem to be doing great with the milk and all the feed and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's been fun with with all of this.
you're enjoying watching us feed these babies and they're eating so much but um, we're almost done with them and um, they after they're done eating they will be over there in the fruit feeder eating up a storm and um, they're growing really good and as you can see they just love to be petted they're like little puppy dogs and um, mom enjoyed scratching on them and rubbing on them and she was like yeah all they want to do is be petted after they get their bellies full so yeah like Stacy says our goats are a little spoiled and um, so but hey that's part of our our farm most of our animals are spoiled rotten so um but this is all of them being fed and how we do the bottles here at Hellspin and um, getting them all getting all their bellies filled up and they're just enjoying it so much and of course with me talking on here you don't get to hear all the chickens in the background and talking and everybody else running around being noisy but actually for the most part it was pretty quiet because we had a really good rainstorm last night and got another inch of rain which is no complaints there and um, it's making everything pretty and green here on our farm so um, if you have not liked and subscribed to our channel please do we greatly appreciate all your support on everything that goes on here and um, we hope to see you soon and y'all take care now bye